headphones on here properly? <laughs> Can you hear yourself? Okay. Tell me what your name is. I'm Karen. No, I'm five. He's a little boy ready to explore. Where's the, where are the other kids? There's no one to share this world with him. He's the only child in Northland without sight. Well, he's totally blind. He was born with no retina. He's a very adventurous little boy. Yeah, um, he's not afraid of anything. I probably hold him back a little bit because I'm the one with all the fears and not him. I try and let him do as much as I can and try and let go as much as I can, but I'm quite happy for him to try most things if it's not too dangerous. So far, Mum's helped him make sense of the world. Now he's at school, he draws on anyone he can to help him figure out what the bigger world's about. Hello. Can I have a bit of the camera? Sure. Hello, sure. How's it going? Good. Does it look like a fish? A little bit. Is it just only sprinkly? There's Hi. the fluffy bit. Hi, Karen. I'm, I'm Mike. Hello, Mike. Are you the TV crew as well? Yeah. That's what I do. And Sean. Yep. He, he's right there. So you've touched one of these before, haven't you? Well, what, what sort of animal is that? No, it's, it's synthetic. It's not made from an animal. It's man-made. You feel my feel it here? Because I wear those all the time, so I can hear very accurately what I'm doing. So I can put those on your ear, ears. Otherwise... OK, you stand still. Now you'll be able to hear me and yourself, won't you? Me. Yeah. And you can hear other things in the room, because I have to listen for other sounds as well. I have to listen to any traffic or the wind blowing. You can hear the wind in the trees outside. Yes. Yeah. You don't like dancing too, do you? I like Coldplay. You like Coldplay. <laughs> Stepping on the floor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to my room and show you the red and blue fish, the spiky tail fish. He just wants to do what every other little boy wants to do. I keep my fishies in here. I keep them in here. We all try to make sense of growing up and making the best of what we have. He's never had sight. But what he does know is uh, what he hears, what he feels, what he touches, what he tastes, what he smells. Don McKenzie's also blind. He's lived through the challenges that Kyron faces. A five-year-old can't explain it, but Don can help us understand what it might be like to live without sight. Kyron is going to deal with the world through his brain, his hands and his ears. His hands are going to be extremely important, his manipulative skills, his ability to be able to feel, to identify, to tell texture, to discriminate, uh, to learn to look for detail. Those are the things that are going to help him to flourish. My favourite place to go in the holidays is Bunnings. My favourite things are trailers. Put your shoes on, Kyron. Here you go. You pop them on. Why are they too big? Yeah. Why can't they come on? They will. Here we go. It's constant talking, telling him what you're doing. Pull the toggles. No, the, the straps. The straps. Using left and rights all the time. Describing things, trying to describe things. No. Yeah, it's raining outside. Why is it raining? In the other arm. Why is it raining? Because it is. There we go, all done. Is that what, is that okay. what it's for? 
Come on then. Let's go. Is it raining? You are constantly alert, listening, feeling, smelling, looking for every possible clue you can eke from the environment. Why are we going in the garage? It's okay. There I was in my car, driving, 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 when the boy that blew, when the boy that blew pulled up the side and I went to hide it. No warrant for the car, no reason to be seen. The Whanganui Kermar testing stations where it should have been. That's what the ad says on the radio. And step. When we're out to protect him, I just keep a very close eye on him. He's not left alone at all. Yep, we'll go find the trailers. Do you want to find the garages? Little trailers. Hey? No, little trailers. Little trailers, right. Mummy's trying to find them. I'm always watching what other people are doing because people don't realise that he is blind and they will just, you know, walk on through him or push him out of the way. You know, they don't realise that he can't see them coming to get out of the way. Don't touch it. How about this one Come on. over here? The little one. Is this a little one? Here you go. Find the tow bar. Where is it? That's a, um, cone. That's a cone. Mm -hmm. Is this the trailer? Is this one a little one or a big one? It's a little, little one. trailer. It's quite amazing to watch him with something new because he gets so excited and his hands get so busy exploring. What do you think that is? Will then get you tow to a car? Is that the connect? Yep. What's that thing called there? It's a handle that puts it onto the car, on the tow ball of the car. Tow bar. You find the, where the wheel is. What, what's the weather today? It's raining. Why? You going to find where the wheel is? There. 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 Yeah. And what's that? The inside. That goes inside the trailer. That's that with the lights. And was that there? That's the light. Yep. Was that the light? And um, now I want to go to the garage. Okay, you want to find the garage just now? Yeah. This way. Well, I try to Okay, it's kind of cool. He's putting that imagery that he hears from other people together with his own experiences and as his ideas about the world mature, he will be blending what he's been told, what he's reading and what he hears with his own personal experience. What colour is that? What colour is that? He's the colour blue. What colour is that fish? He's blue. What colour is that one? He's red. What colour is his body? There. Um, he has some black stripes. Look, I've got a fish that's my favourite colour. What's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is yellow, and this fish is yellow. What's this fishy? He's red and blue. Is your favourite colour red and blue? Kind of. What's your favourite colours? What's that fish you got in his mouth? Um, nothing. Chiron will develop some concept uh, of colour because people will talk about what a, what a brilliantly red sunset this is 
oh, there goes the red fire range. Oh, the grass is looking much greener. My word, these hills are looking brown today. Chiron will make sense of all that in his own individualistic way, but it will have meaning. And who's to say that his meaning is any less than yours or mine? And a round flipper. And a little tiny tail. Does he have sharp teeth? Um, he probably would if he opened his mouth. Might hurt when he bites your finger. Could you see if he had sharp teeth? Okay. <gasps> he has sharp teeth. Does he? Yep, he opened his mouth for me and he had sharp teeth. So what's the fish does he, is he like? Um, what do you think? A piranha? Oh, I don't think he's a piranha. He doesn't look like a piranha to me. But he has spikes. Yeah, he has spikes. He has spiky fins. And spiky fins. I think it's great that he asks all these questions about what things look like. It must be very difficult for him to envisage it, but yeah, I think it's really nice that he wants to know what things look like. Describing things is very hard. Um, I find that he comes home from school and asks about things that they're learning at the time. He, he asks me about the sun and he can feel the heat from the sun, so he doesn't understand that it's far away. He thinks he can reach out and touch it. Um, but he, he asked me to describe the sun, so I, I kind of describe it as it's a big ball of fiery gas and it's so hot to touch that it, you know, would hurt really badly. <laughs> yeah. Um, trying to describe clouds was a little bit harder. Kyron has no ability to go to sleep on his own. He is totally blind with no light perception whatsoever. He doesn't know day or night. Good boy. Army three. And the other one. Okay, off to bed. Chilly fully woolly. Tip chilly fully woolly. He has asked if other people can see. He has asked me why he can't see. I just told him that his eyes are broken. Alright, night. Night. See you in the morning, where do you go? He did ask why his eyes were broken and there's really no answer that I can give him until he's old enough to understand. My favourite things at school is developmental. What? Developmental. It means that you play a game. Oh. 
getting about at five, I don't think you really think about it. You just kind of do it. Sometimes it goes wrong and sometimes you're lost, but usually you've got people around you who will in some way rescue you. And you learn by your mistakes. Green. Green. And the branches are brown. And what colour are those trees? Green. And what colour of the other trees? Green. Because most leaves are green. And what, <coughs> and what colour are the spider webs? When you move away from, from home and from that which you're familiar with is scary. You find yourself in places and situations that you've not experienced before. Those about you seem to be coping and managing quite well and you're not too sure where the four walls of the room are and whether there are any steps and things like that. Then you are a little bit more hesitant. We'll get to class. Well, well, and if we're late? No, we won't be. That won't be okay if we're late. School was a really huge step in my mind. And it wasn't just, okay, he's going to turn five and go to school. It was a pretty, pretty drawn out process. In your bag. Do you need a hand with your bag? Yeah. It was finding the right school to go to and then speaking with the principal and trying to find the right teacher that fitted Kyron. I did have panic attacks about school because I, you know, had visions of him being left alone in the middle of the field and, and I didn't like that idea, so I, I made it a priority that in all yeah, breaks right. that he was to be left with an adult and not a child to supervise him. And they imp implemented everything I asked for, so, yeah, it wasn't so bad. So, please use your sensible walking feet. Watch out for all these adults in the classroom. Use your manners. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Uh, that's my turn. Nice and Push wrong yet. Push wrong yet. Push wrong Okay, put your fingers on for E. Is this E? What will Kyron's frustrations be? G. Not being able to do, not being able to succeed, by failing more than succeeding. But he'll come to terms with learning to deal with failure, and that will build in him, let's have another go. I'll do it again until I get it right. I'm not going to stop this until I get there. Oh, that's a good idea. I was lucky and otherwise I was unlucky because I went to school um, in an institution because that was the way things were done in those days. And the downside of that is that one, to some measure, is separated away out of, out of family and your neighbourhood. But on the other hand, you're mixing with people who are like yourself. You know, a person who has seen that goes blind knows what the world looks like. They know the shape of a tree or what a car looks like. They know how dangerous the world can be. Whereas Kyron doesn't know any of these things. It's just me telling him. I think I first started to run holding uh, on to uh, my, my family members and mates and 
come on, let's go for, you know, let's, let's have a run. He gets anxious when he's going to do something he's never done before. Could it stay like that, Marie? Yes. For a little while. I can remember thinking, oh, am I going to be all right? I'm not too sure about this. Ready? Go. Hey, hi, Kyron. Do you find that a bit scary? Yeah. Is that a bit scary? Yeah. What? Can you give me a high five? How about a high ten? Have you ever heard of a high ten? It's both hands. I just made that one up. I don't know if there is a high ten. Can you put both hands like that against mine? And I'm going to run backwards, and I want you to run forwards, but my hands are going to stay here. Is that all right? Yeah. We're going to walk first. Keep your hands flat. Come on, we can run. Can we run? Oh. Yes. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Three, two, one, stop. Shall we run back? Yeah. Okay, turn round. That's it. Where's our high ten? Running. Keep your hands flat. Good, good. Keep your hands flat. Three, two, one, stop. Why'd you done it a few times? It was beaut. You were competitive and you enjoyed uh, the freedom of really, um, really running. He's not going to see some of the bad stuff that happens in this world. He's always just going to know what's around him. Um, unfortunately, he won't see the beautiful parts of the world, but he'll be able to touch them. Is the boat here? Is the, bo is the boat here yet? Yes, the boat's waiting. We're going on a big, big boat. Is the big boat waiting for us? no other children in Northland that are totally blind, so it's, it's just Chiron in the Northland area. There's no one to discuss anything with. We just sort of make it up as we go along. Why don't we hop in the police car? Oh no, we don't want to do that. When you first meet somebody, first impressions count, particularly on what they look like, and he's not going to ever be judgmental like that because he doesn't know what a person looks like. But he's got that benefit. Do you want to say hello to Holly? Hello, Holly. Yes, okay. that's a girl. Whose garage is there? That's my garage. OK, step. Have a look inside this and tell me what can you feel in here? Dots? Yes. And what do the dots say? K Y R E N. Yes. Chiron. Yes. It says Chiron. Who's Chiron? You. Is that K? Mm -hmm. And what's that? 
It's just K. Hey, you've stolen the K. You have stolen the K. <laughs> you little tinker. <laughs> you've got the whole world in your hands. Look at that. The whole world. And here is New Zealand. That's where you and I are now. Then go straight across to Australia, to Melbourne. And here's New Zealand. That's where you and I are, right there. There. That's it. Yeah, it's good, eh? Are you there? Mm. Hello, are you in there, Corin? I'm in Australia. You're in Australia, are you? Oh, OK. <laughs> it's just great being with people like Corin. He's um, infectious, I suppose, <laughs> because he wants to know, and he wants to know why, and he wants to know what's next, and what are we going to do now? The bait. Are we doing a bit of fishing? We're sure doing a bit of fishing, mate. How many fish are we? How... We haven't caught anything yet. I'll see if I can catch a fish. Yeah, too right. He was pretty aware of not getting too close to the edge of the jetty. He knew about that. I tell you what, mm -hmm. throw one of them in. Throw. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Good man. Yeah. He's got the makings of a great contributor. He's a very bright little boy. And the whole of society is the better for people like Kyron being with us. See if I caught a fish. Wonder if I caught a fish. 